Hey, yo, yo. Hey, yo, yo. Check it. Welcome back, hero. My word is my sword, Hokage Yemba Tosai, pulling the blades out of the forge, yo. Prior to my knowledge of the force, was thinking Jedi, but through obtaining holocrons from both sides, I'm under gray skies. Everything that glitter ain't kyber crystal, my mind will lift you. In this time, we shine together, disarm your pistol, yo. Welcome to the sword cast, sword cast. My word play, my sword play when blades clash. Welcome to the sword cast, sword cast. My word play, my sword play when blades clash. Welcome to the sword cast, sword cast. My right, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> May the fourth be with you, my friend. Look here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, may the fourth be with you. Welcome to the May the 4th Star Wars episode of the Swordcast, my friends. Let's go. Hero Hero has been has been converted to the dark side, dog. Hero 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 Rin. You you hear anything about that map to Skywalker? I mean, hey, y'all niggas get our shit up, bro. We know you got it. <laughs> the map to Skywalker. We know you have Skywalker. it. We know you found it. And now we're going to give it to the first, to the first order. order. Yo, man, episode 35, bro. Episode Kevin Durant. That's a good one. I stole uh, it. I stole it. I mean, I, you already sure. know I got a, you know I got a, a random I know you piston. got some random Detroit Pistons. I got but... a random, I got a one-time <laughs> Piston, Dewan Summers, number 35. Also, who went to Michigan State, I think. You mean Darrell Summers? Dur- no, no. Yeah, Darrell Summers. Darrell Summers. Okay, we're right. Number 35. <laughs> Yo, I got a, I have a, is that somebody? Um, is that just not a person? I possibly not. <laughs> um, yo, so I play. I have an interesting story about Darrell Summers. When I was um, in high school, I went to I actually played against him in high school, first of all. Um, he went to De La Salle, I think. And then and then I went and played in a prep spotlight, Super 200. And he was actually on my team super randomly. And, uh, random. he, and he went crazy. He was, had a lot of fun playing with him. But um, anyway, episode Justin Verlander used to, wow. be a, used to be a pitcher for the Detroit yeah. Tigers, man, back in, back in our – Kind of good times. <laughs> they, were, they were great. They were really good. They just couldn't have to get over the hump. Yeah, I'm saying. Right. Um, I don't know if I know him. Oh, um, episode Aeneas Williams. Aeneas Williams was a cornerback for the Arizona Cardinals. He actually is the guy who laid that ridiculous hit on Steve Young and gave, oh. him, that, and gave him that really bad concussion. I think it no. might have ended his career. But – that is the sports section of the forecast. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> that will tell us more. <laughs> Rick Brown, you will tell us more number 35 jersey numbers. You will tell you us more 35 it. jersey numbers. Right. Rick Brown. Right. And that's Rick, Rick Brown, Brown, man. 35s. <laughs> we know you have it. <laughs> So and now you will give it over to the first order. There you go. <laughs> Amen. So obviously it's May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Not, you know, it just feels weird, man, around this time. You know, May. May is usually like my favorite month in the, out the year because, you know, my, my, son's, my son's birthday is on May 6th. There's always a Marvel movie out. You know what I mean? Around May, like right now, we should be watching Black Widow. Uh, Comic Con is always in May. Like this is always a really fun month for my family, and, and right now it's just not happening. You know what I mean? But yeah, man. May the May the Fourth be with you. I mean, watch some Star Wars marathons, man. Have fun. You know this. Absolutely. Week. But right now, man, what are you into currently, bro? What do you got for me? as far as what you're into right now. I thought you would never ask. 
<laughs> Brother uh, Nero, I knew you'd come. <laughs> I've been on this motherfucking Streets of Rage <laughs> four, and you've been ra- and you've been raging. I have, but I I finally I think I got the hang of it. I think I got the hang of it. That game is way harder than I remember. But that shit is sweet as fuck, bro. It is. <laughs> Yo, any any not old school game. Yeah. From back in the day, extremely difficult, especially yo, know, like like side scrollers and uh and beat 'em up beat games. Ups, bro, look, dog, so hard. I'll I'll tell you like this: the first, like it's a. I wonder if it's just now that I'm realizing how hard those games used to be because I'm playing <laughs> this shit now. And I, and again, this game is made on purpose. It's it's like engineered to be just like the the old games. And yeah. I'm like, all right. That's fine now, but I'm thinking back. I was thinking back when I was playing these shits when I was little, and I'm like, "Oh, wait a minute, this is some bullshit. <laughs> like, this is some y'all be out here cheating. Like the the, the no, like I he, like it kind of irritates me sometimes when games have like let their programming show a little bit. Like right. when 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 in in order to make a game difficult, they will like engineer. The computer just to automatically do some whole ass shit. <laughs> it's like, and it's obvious as hell that it's like, you know, straight up like a. a so, like, I give you an example. In Streets of Rage, you know, if, if all of you who played this game, you know, there's different type of grunts out there, and they all have different behaviors. But like, there's a certain type of of uh, of, of like of foot soldier who does this like jump kick thing if you get too close to him, but there's this whack ass mechanic where they like automatically don't let you close space at all. Like if you, <laughs> so like, look, you can be moving forward. Right. And then you would expect the computer to kind of move back or whatever. These yeah. niggas will, will like be locked to you. So like anytime you move, they move like exactly. Move. Even if you like stutter a little bit, the fucking computer is just, weird. and I'm like, okay. Lockdown so, defense. Right. So I guess I'm just supposed to get hit. Like there's no way to not get hit right now. Cool. Yo, that's right. That's frustrating. And, and I sweet, remember, though. I remember the old Streets of Rage. There was the guy with the knife. And, oh yeah, he's and he was so persistent. Yeah, that nigga be coming at you, fucking. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> and he's still there. And uh, Man. bro, Yo, this is I one. This is one board. Cut. This is what it's it's really fucking dope. The the graphics are good. The the artwork is really beautifully done. Um it, you know, it's a it's a throwback type game. Like it looks I mean it looks up to date, but like they threw a new coat of paint on it. Are they it's almost like they took the old sprites and just like redrew them, hand drum. Um and do some HD they, on are there. there any, um, are there any new characters? There are um, two new I, characters. Okay, word. That's what I that's what I thought. I gotta play it. I haven't, I haven't got a chance to, to play it yet, but I'm a big Streets of Rage fan, especially from from back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Axel, my man Axel with the tight jeans. Axel the, with the nineties jeans, dog. Let's go at nineties, nineties blue jeans with the holes in them. Sorry. All right. Ah, da, da. <laughs> ah, da, da. He, he so still got them jeans. They look like the same yeah. ones from twenty years ago. And he got a he got a weird ass like blonde beard. I don't know about that. The blonde uh, beard is kind of weird. Right. But I tell you who's dope, man. Blaze. Blaze done turn. They Blaze. turned Blaze from a white woman to like some sort of Hispanic uh, oh, Puerto Rican cool. woman. I mean, yeah. I don't, I'm just I'm talking shit. I don't know if she, if she is or not, but she just her whole swag is like not it's a white woman. It's different. Right? Her, so, I mean, she got like hoop earrings Blizzle. and like stiletto <laughs> heels out here Yo, whooping y'all about- ass. What about my man's the pro wrestler? What's his name? Max. Oh, Max. Yeah, Max, Max is. Uh, there's a there's a special guest appearance from Max that I won't spoil Where, for y'all. Okay, don't spoil it because I'm, I'm gonna definitely play it. But Max, but Max is my guy. Max will take you Max, and fucking Max, drop Max me on your the, head. <laughs> Max is the originator of Darkest Lariat. Hell yeah! <laughs> the, the the Pokemon move by uh, Incineroar. Max was out here doing that in the early nineties. Yep. You know and he mean? got a bro. Uh, Max in Street Fighter Two. It's hard to do it, but if you if you grab somebody like a back grab and then jump, he does a backbreaker. It, t- it literally takes yeah. up like your whole last life bar. That shit's <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Um, so that's what I've been on. What about you? That's what's up. Uh, 
Yeah, man. Uh, I have actually been. Um, I started. Uh, I told you they did a they did a, a little update on Star Wars Battlefront Two. So I mean, obviously in the uh, the appropriate spirit of May the Fourth, I've been playing that man. You know, uh, it's dope. They put some new skins on there, added a a, a couple new battles. Um, and we talked about it before when, when Star Wars Battlefront launched. It was it was horrible, right? It was it was so um, dedicated to like pay to play, and it was just plagued by microtransactions. Yeah. And and we complained. And EA went in and they changed it. You know what I mean? So it's actually a, a really dope game now. And I've just been playing that, man. You know what I mean? Trying to trying to get to level 100 specialist. I'm a sniper. I'm a shooter, you know. I'm just going to spot yeah. up in the corner. I need, right. a, I need an unselfish unselfish leader to give me the ball. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm close. I'm in like level, level 94. I might hop on Twitch uh, and, and, and try to get to level 100 on on the twitch stream for 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 everybody so that's fine i've been playing i've been playing that man you know i finished into the badlands uh loved it amazing um kind of in that i'm in that uh i'm in that little the weird spot where you're trying to find that new thing to to kind of chill and, and get into um i I started watching a uh, cabinary of the Iron Fortress. Oh it's, yeah, uh, bro. I, yeah, it's a uh, it's uh, my new anime right now. I had knew about it, haven't hadn't watched it yet. Super dope, love it. That reminds shit. me reminds me a lot of Attack on Titan, man. 100. It's definitely. I haven't finished it. I'm I actually only watched like the first six episodes, but it kind of. I'm not gonna say it's better than Attack on Titan, but it it like I think it takes itself a little bit more seriously than Attack on Titan does, which is yeah, saying a lot. Absolutely. Um, and that animation is fire. It's some, some of the best animation out there. And this is just such a dope con- uh, concept, too. Very, um, very but I'm, good. I, I'm actually going to... I see, I got a little disappointed because I think that there's only two seasons and it's, they kind of left it incomplete. And that, yeah, that kind of hurts me a little bit. Honestly, when I saw the animation in the first episode, I was like, this isn't going to be a long show. <laughs> the yeah. animation is probably is really, too crispy. really ex- expensive. Right. Definitely. Yeah. Their budget. Yeah, it's, it's, it's some of the best I've ever seen. Yeah, that's good. Man, um, so, in the once again, in the spirit of May the 4th, let's 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 kind of let's start off. Let's talk about this Clone Wars finale, man. I mean, Clone Wars has been on for so long. We had the new season come uh, the last couple episodes. We've been like recapping how good you know this 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 final run has been with, with mm-hmm. Ahsoka and everything uh, as a gift to Star Wars fans. Instead of making us wait till Friday, not only did they drop uh, Rise of Skywalker on Disney Plus, but they also gave us um the clone wars finale today what do you think about it bro and uh, uh, just in case uh, and our listeners man if y'all haven't uh seen it i would i would advise you to maybe like fast forward a couple minutes because we're about to talk about the clone wars finale that dropped uh, early all right so make sure y'all check it out if you haven't but for now spoiler Alert! All right, spoiler alert! Y'all Woo! turn the channel. Um, so yeah, I thought that the the finale as a whole, the last like if I'm t- if I'm talking the last three or four episodes together <clears throat> as one performance, one uh, story, it's phenomenal, fantastic. Uh, this last episode, though, I thought was a little bit of an airball, uh, and. The reason why is because they kind of, and again, I've talked about this before. This is the reason why I get frustrated with Star Wars and Star Trek. They both are obsessed with telling stories in between two points in time that we already know the details of what comes before and what comes after. And it really limits you on what you can do uh, at what stories you can tell, what information you can add. And I thought that this episode was all right i mean it was it was beautifully shot there was some cool action um ahsoka has really really risen up the rankings as far as my one of my favorite characters now definitely one of one of the best um one of the best star wars characters ever man um and but however 
like it I, it I almost wish they would have made the, this past I almost wish the last episode and this episode would have just been one like 45 minute special and then right. I would have been able to accept how slow that this episode ended because it would have made sense like all right we gotta we have to cool this down now because we kind of know what happens next I feel right. like they could have done a lot more to make the the ending like I wanted to see a really I mean I, I, I guess I, I appreciated how they made ahsoka the focus really the focus of the whole season to be honest um but i really would have preferred to see the real the ramifications of um of order 66 and like really what that because we we all knew that that was going to be the, the finale yeah. but they really kind of told a, a really compact centralized story around ahsoka and and darth vader which was i like that touch at the end um showing that like Darth, there was still some Anakin left. There was still some light side left and that, you know, maybe Darth Vader didn't, I mean, I don't know about that. I mean, there are some people who have a theory that Darth Vader was almost on some like Itachi Uchiha type shit where like he no. let himself go to the dark side because of Luke. I don't know about I don't that. So. I don't no. think so either. I think, I mean, it's not, <laughs> did y'all see the episode three? I <laughs> murdered some babies. Like that nigga went to the dark side. No yeah. doubt about it. But I do think that there was a part of him that never fully dove in. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, and I think, and I think that's what they were trying to kind of illustrate with that shot at the end there, with him finding a silver lightsaber and, and kind of showing that he had possibly had a little more Anakin in him, you know, at that point in time, more than we thought before. Um, I, I mean, I liked it. You know what I'm saying? I liked the episode. It wasn't like you said. Uh, Telling telling stories in between two existing plot points where we already know what happens is it's it's difficult, man. Because like you said, you 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 you're, you put yourself in a corner and, and you're very limited, uh, very limited in terms of what you can can do as far as the story goes without it being like ridiculous. You know what I mean? And I mean, I liked it. I thought I thought it was very safe. You know what I mean? The mall yeah. just kind of yeah. just kind of got yeah, away. Just- that nigga just escaped somehow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was it was it was great. I mean, you know, but but still, nonetheless, it was it was kind of underwhelming. You know, it, we all love Maul's lightsaber ability, so I would have loved to see him uh, kind of cut through there with with a saber instead of just straight up using the force because we had kind of got that already in the last episode. Last episode, yeah. Um, but I mean, overall, like you said, looking at it as a multi part finale fantastic looking at this one episode alone kind of standalone good beautiful beautiful as far as like the the way they shot it and everything and some of the images they gave us um but as a whole it's one episode it was i thought it was just all right you know what i mean Um, hold hold up i just saw while we're on this subject i just saw the the tweet that you put out (laughs) (laughs) I, I was ready. I was ready to answer real quick, but then I was like, "Let me think about yeah, that for a minute." Yeah, you talking? So, oh yeah. So, so go ahead and tell him. Tell him what you so, what I tweeted. <laughs> now I just put out. He just tweeted, uh, "Who you got? Ahsoka versus Ray?" And I was immediately about to be like, "Well, nigga, Ray is the, like a force virtuoso. Like she fucking killed Palpatine. Like of course she would be stronger." But then I was like, "Here's the thing, bro." That's, Ahsoka is a way better lightsaber user. Oh, da- bro, she dueled Mar- Darth Maul to a standstill, and bro, and she <laughs> ah- Ahsoka is very, very, and she fights Vader and Rebels too. Yeah, she and, does, and she, you know what I mean. Ahsoka is very, very, very good lightsaber user, man. So here's the thing that I always talk about, man. Y'all gotta, especially in the movies, in the in in the expanded universe, is different. Right. Uh, Grandmaster Luke Skywalker is bar, by far and away the strongest Jedi of all time. Like it's not even close. This nigga is a fucking cheat code. No wonder y'all was mad that you didn't get that version of Luke in the in the uh, the movies because it wouldn't. I mean, I mean, I guess you're mad because if you saw that version of Luke, it wouldn't have been interesting. He would have just destroyed everybody. It wouldn't have been uh, any conflict at all. It would have been Superman. <laughs> um, but in the movies, the canonical movies the way that I interpret them is there's almost like it's almost like how we compare different eras of the NBA, but in reverse. So like if you took Kevin Durant, put him back in 1970, 
Of course There's, he would go crazy. This nigga would average 100 points a game. There would be nobody <laughs> that could stop him. No, there would be nobody that could stop him. Nobody. Right. Um, but back in a time, because the competition is better now, the athletes are better, the training is better, the game has evolved, right? And it, I mean, and that's the, that's the, like the the biggest thing is that the game has evolved. You know what I mean? There just because, and I mean, obviously, there's these people. Uh, there's guys that are just ridiculous, you know, otherworldly athletes. But the the game has evolved, and that's really important too. You know what I mean? Because yeah. just because guys weren't. Um, doing things you know what i'm saying back then doesn't mean, doesn't, that they mean couldn't. doesn't mean they couldn't it just wasn't right. around like you know and i and um that's something that i always use when i talk about pro wrestling you know what i mean like like you know ricky the dragon steamboat is like the one of the he's like the goat to me right and mm-hmm. um and you watch his matches obviously he was really good and really talented but um there's nothing that that tells me that he couldn't be out there doing like moon salts and stuff. Had they people been doing it, you know what I mean? Right, like he yeah, was, no doubt. He was super athletic. I'm sure he could have been doing. It. But in 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 Star Wars, though, it's almost the opposite. They're in so, so like we talked about the athletes, the 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 routine or the the training is better. The athletes have evolved. The game has evolved. The comp is better. You know, everybody has access to to a gym, to a trainer, to a basketball. Everything is all good, right? Um, right. When it comes to Jedi and the Force, it's the opposite. Everybody back then had access to trainers, to to Jedi masters, to to Jedi knights to help them. They had the Jedi Temple. The quality of Jedi was so much higher and better back then yeah. than it is in their day, in like even Luke's day, because there's no competition. There's no point of reference, right? Like, right. of course, Luke. Relatively speaking, Luke is one of the most powerful Jedi in the in the um, the canonical movies because you don't he doesn't there aren't any other Jedi. It's just him. It's him and Darth Vader. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so, okay. And so when you go to when you look at uh, back in Ahsoka's time, where she she grew up in sort of like the the prime of. The, the Jedi, the prime of, um, or right at the, the height of the Empire, excuse me, the, the height of the Jedi Academy right before uh, the fall of um, the Jedi. And so all of her competition, all of her mentors, all of her masters, all of her knights, um, all of her competition was so much higher. And she competed in a, on a level that Ray never even came close to. Um, I think it wouldn't even be close. I think. I don't know if it, I'm not going to say it wouldn't be close. I think that Ahsoka, in terms of lightsaber wielding, like, in terms of like force sensitivity, I think that just the, the quality of her training, the quality of her experience is just way higher and way more valuable than anything that Ray's experienced. Right. And, and that, so therefore, and, and I'm like calling said, Ahsoka the winner. Right. And like you said, um, there's so much more access to. Um, other Jedi, you know what I mean, to train with, and having an actual, having a, a real master, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's there with you. That's, yeah, that's that's important. Ahsoka had, like, on the field, she had in the field training, you know what I mean? Yeah, she was, for sure. She was, I mean, and, and that's not to say that Ray didn't come up in, in a time before because she did, but. But Not Ahsoka, like Ahsoka did. Ahsoka was on the front lines. Ahsoka was on the front lines at a very young age. You know what yeah. I mean? She was she was a commander too. You know, with the yeah. clones. So yeah, yeah man, all that stuff, dope, man. Ah- Ahsoka has uh, really proven herself to be the the on the level of a Jedi master. She even though she mm-hmm. never got the rank. I mean, she was only a Padawan still, which is unbelievable. She's she's absolutely the greatest Padawan of all time. No, far none. <laughs> Obi Obi Wan might might have a little. Obi Wan might have a little. I mean, yeah, both. they they both they both got victories on Maul in in yeah. in. Uh, hey, in I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not ready to call that a victory, man. For the Ahsoka, <laughs> bro. I'm not. I'm not. Maul wasn't even trying to, bro. He he literally tried to save her from falling when he knocked her lightsaber. Out. He was really trying to get her to see it his way. And join him. She just wasn't having. It. She wasn't having any of it. Hey man. I mean, so 
she fought that nigga like fair and square to to a almost a, a stalemate, at least a stalemate. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, stalemate, absolutely. Uh, stand still. Yeah, I ain't giving her. I'm not giving her a clean dub off that. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna give her you're not gonna give her a schoolboy roll up <laughs> <laughs> i get all right i give her i give her a referee distract i give her a referee distraction schoolboy roll up <laughs> with the, with why, the, with is the my, why am i moving so slow right now i'm trying to get my something to happen um maybe i need to pay the cable bill right <laughs> force bro you fuck the fuck yeah, up the to the signal i got to uh force I got too strong force can uh, <laughs> So yeah, I think oh. just based on the fact that the the quality of Jedi was just way higher in Ahsoka's day, um, right. I think that she would be prop. And I love Kylo Ren; uh, she would probably be both of them. That's 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 uh yeah. I mean, once again, you know, coming up in the time, it's, it's important. That's a lot to a lot. I'm stuck. What's yeah. cool? What's going on? What's going on? Puma, with the rare, the rare podcast appearance in in person. You're breaking up a little bit. I can't quite hear you. Nope. I think we lost you. <laughs> All right, yeah. So some technical difficulties. The cat came and used the force to fuck the internet up. <laughs> so um, Yo, here we are. Here we are. Every choice you've made has led you to this moment. Right here. Right here. We back. Um, yeah, man. We just were talking about. Um, Ahsoka, man, right? And Ahsoka versus Ray, and why Ahsoka would come out on top of that battle. Yeah, I think um, so. I gotta agree with you, man. I think so too. I think she's like you said. She she came up in a time where she was, uh, you know, trained by by a true Jedi and being able to be around that that Jedi Council and uh, get that in, in the field experience with the with the with the Clone War. So shout out to Ahsoka Tano, man. But with that said, we got a couple of top fives today. Is, is we're gonna talk about Star Wars a lot it, via May the Fourth be with you. Uh, let's let's revisit, right? What back in our, in some of our very early episodes, man. I think like probably episode like two or three, maybe. Yeah, super early. Like, super early, like probably within the first like five episodes. We did uh top five favorite Star Wars characters. And we did top five favorite films uh, another time, not too long after that. Um can you hear me okay? I feel like I'm all right, good. Okay. Oh, I, I see that my my picture is kind of kind of lagging again but um so yeah man so with that said first first on the menu let's revisit your top five favorite star wars films right films. now boom all right so we'll run through them here real quick um yeah <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people are gonna be mad at me because i don't have the i only have one original trilogy film what? in my top five. <laughs> um, I actually don't have any uh, prequel trilogy films in my top five either. Oh, but don't worry, I'll be the only person that'll be mad. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have, um, I have a number, uh, my, my honorable mention is probably Revenge of the, or uh, uh, Revenge of the Sith. Um, I really thought that that was a, with the exception of some bad acting and bad script. I mean, that was, that plagued all of the, all of the prequels in my opinion, but it told a complete story. It was really, I mean, it, it was the, it was very appropriately climactic. Um, it was epic. It was the, one of the greatest, maybe the greatest lightsaber fight ever between um, Obi-Wan and Anakin at on Mustafar. Uh, my brother Anakin. <laughs> hey man, I got the motherfucking high ground. Don't you do it, <laughs> um, Anakin? Don't, don't, don't jump or I'll turn you into a <laughs> <laughs> to a fucking bar to a fucking barbecue pork chop. <laughs> goddammit. it! 
Uh, and he did. Forks and pork chop. <laughs> So, uh, so anyways, yeah, that's, that's my, that's my honorable mention. So then busting into the number to the top five here real quick, I'm going to go with the force awakens at number five. Um, I don't know where that was or if it was, if it was even in my top five, but I just really appreciated how that movie made me feel like it was just like a diving back in all the way into the star Wars universe for the first time in forever. And it just, that just felt really good. It did, man. That that's one thing I can uh, say about Force Awakens was just I remember in that first trailer, man. Yeah, and, bro. Uh, and it was that that might be Force Awakens might be one of the best oh, to me. Uh, that that trailer really, really just awakened my my uh, Star Wars fandom after it had been suppressed for so long. I mean. So no, shit. Is dope. no, no. <laughs> the, Sith, the Sith cat is back. Um, oh, geez. So, yeah, that would be my number four. Um, or my number five, that is. Number four, I'm going to go with... Where is it at? Yeah, I'm going to go with The Rise of Skywalker at number four. The um, Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> super action packed um it was it was a lot of fan service but but that's okay we appreciate fan service um you know i just i loved people say what they want to say about the the flaws that that movie had and there were some but i mean it really was a fan pleasing movie like jj abrams made it to and that's there's some we'll get to that in a second jj abrams made it to make amends for the last jedi um whether he did or whether he should or shouldn't have had to do that is a different question. Um, but since he chose to go that route, I thought that that was the, as good a job as you could have done. If that's the route you were going to go. And I just love to see the evolution of Ray and Kylo. I mean, that, that movie cemented Kylo is one of my favorite star Wars characters ever. I always like, even when people were hating on Kylo, I, I liked him even in the first movie. Um, right. And I just love to see his evolution, his call back to the light. I hated the fact that he died. That that sucked. Um, the, the heroic sacrifice, I, I suppose. Um, but I would have loved to see a full grown, full power light side Ben Solo. That would have been really dope. Um, but anyways, that been dope. so that's my number four. My number three. Damn, I keep losing Kill the page. The girl. <laughs> Kill the girl. Right. Kill the girl. Um, Kill the girl. I'm going to go with, uh, uh, no, I almost said something that would have been stupid and wrong. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with Rogue One at number three. Um, I'm t- I always say this shit. Rogue One has one of the best third acts out of any movie I've ever seen. It's just, mm-hmm. it's, I mean, you get introduced. Right. It just, it just stays on 10, bro. Mm-hmm. You get introduced to one of the, one of the best characters that we've seen. One of the most interesting characters in uh Cherwood Inway. Um, mm-hmm. One of the most epic, maybe the most epic horror movie scene ever. Oh, it's, the, the, it's the best Darth Vader related thing. I ever. mean, it's just incredible. That last scene with, <laughs> with fucking the <Vader>. Vader. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, them niggas was fucking dying, dog. Oh, like yeah. Vader was, Vader was, uh, Vader was was, was, movie, was fucking was, Jason was Voorhees, <laughs> Mike Myers, goddamn Freddy Krueger on their ass. <laughs> this shit was ridiculous. <laughs> I love that scene. Oh man, um, I didn't, I didn't so much love uh, the main character that much, but that's fine. I just thought the ensemble was great. Uh, mm-hmm. Either way. I mean, and, and it was dope uh, on Clone Wars, you know, to see to see Maul when he was escaping. You know what I mean? To see mm-hmm. Maul, um, to see Maul channel kinda, a little bit of kind of channel a little bit of Rogue One Vader when yeah, he was, for uh, sure. when he was getting out of the, the clone ship. Also, goddamn it, nigga, Borg Gullet, goddamn it, the Borg Gullet, the Borg Gullet, when they came in, fucking. Pop locking and shit. <laughs> Pop <laughs> locking on, ro- on roller skates. Right. That nigga is. <laughs> uh, very, very weird. That was a weird ass scene, but I fuck with weird it. That nigga, broke, that nigga bore Gollet know what the fuck you thinking, goddamn. <laughs> you can't <laughs> hide. <laughs> the bore Gollet. 
knows your thoughts. Yeah, Saul Guerrero is such a weird, a weird character, man. That was a strange guy. That nigga take a take a, a breath out of his uh, out of his mask. Talking about some. That was hilarious, man. Uh, Saul, anyways, Saul Guerrero, one of the great weird characters in Star Wars. of all time. Of all time. Uh, number two, I'm gonna go with uh, the Last Jedi. Now, look, or, I fuck with the Last Jedi super you know, duper heavy. I mean, there there is a a a fan base for the Last Jedi. And I know, like, you're not the only person I know that loves that movie. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I have, uh, I know a couple. Shout out to my homie Seth Sprague, man. He he's a big fan of of my music, and he is into a lot of the same stuff that we're into. I don't know if he listens to the pod or not, but shout out to Seth Sprague, man. He's a he's a he's a he's a cool dude, man. He's a gamer. He likes Star Wars, and he's another guy that I know who's a big fan of Last Jedi, man. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, man. It's it, listen. <clears throat> Y'all wanted something new, and Jay and um, Ryan Johnson gave it to you. He gave it to you. He he told you a story. He got rid of. He busted the mythos of Luke Skywalker, and that's one of the reasons why I was so why I'm okay with this movie is because I don't have an attachment to Luke Skywalker like a lot of OG fans do. I always thought Luke Skywalker was corny as fuck, even from the very first time my dad. Shout out to my dad, rest in peace. Showed me, let me. Uh, you know, he introduced me to Star Wars. Even my dad, the first thing my dad said was, hey, man, Luke Skywalker, he's, he's a little white bread for me, but look at, let's, <laughs> <laughs> I like Han Solo and, uh, and Darth Vader. And I was like, okay, right. I see what you're talking about. Because, you know, I always, I've always thought he was a little corny. But anyways, it's not about Luke. It's about, uh, and, and I love, and, I, and if you're going to find a way to make a character like that interesting, this is how you do it. You ground him. You tell a, a, a character story about him. Um, and I also love the idea, even though they retconned it, um, of like the force being, and again, bro, here we go. If the force is a thing that is, um, that should not be genetic, right? If it's, if you guys were mad at the midi chlorians and thought like the scientific piece, like, Oh, like you just, you just taking all the mystique away from the force. How is that any different? Then the force being hereditary. It's the exact same thing. Same thing. Same it's a hundred percent the same thing. So this idea that only a select group of people in a select royal family get to be special is ridiculous. I love the idea right. that anybody can call upon the force if you listen for it. And and you don't have to be a royal lineage in order to be a force user. Um, and I would have loved I I I liked I liked okay the Ray Palpatine reveal. Um I would have liked it more if it was Ray Kenobi. That would have been cool. Um, but I would have liked it just as well if it was just Ray, just a just a, a vessel that the cho- that the Force chose just because, nigga, because yeah. <laughs> I have died before. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was I was super okay with with the story that was told there, and also, man. One of I can't believe I for, I forgot this in light in my lightsaber duels, uh, top lightsaber battles, but motherfucking that Praetorian guard versus Ray and Kylo. Well, I mean, you you went back and you and you made it. Uh, you made a change, so I had to. He but... was in there. Yeah, that man. shit was just incredible, bro. So and, fucking and good. It, so good. It, one of one of the most. Possibly the most unique Star Wars fight scene ever. So dope, you know, man. You don't get a lot of that. You don't get a lot of that. That fight was violent. <laughs> you know what I mean? That nigga Kylo, <laughs> hey, he cut somebody's head the fuck off and sent that bitch like spiraling. Clean <laughs> you know what I'm off. Saying? So yeah, I was so, totally here for that uh, that story, that that fight scene. I like the four space time. That was dope too. And the mm. way they did, and way they, the way that JJP piggybacked off that and um, the the Rise of Skywalker, the fucking teleport in the lightsaber, they, that shit was sweet as fuck, dog. Let's go. And then hold on, wait a I second. Wait a second. You niggas wanted Super Luke, right? You wanted Super Saiyan Luke? You got him. 
we gave you Luke performing to this day the most incredible force feat that anybody has ever seen on camera, and y'all niggas felt some type of way about the shit. <laughs> he literally did what he was making fun of y'all about and said, what did you expect me to do? Wave my lightsaber out in front of a, an entire army? He actually did it. He did it. He did it. He did it. And made I Kylo, know, yeah. Kylo Ren mad as fuck. That nigga said, <laughs> I want every gun <laughs> to fire on that man. <laughs> More. More. Oh, he had the mask off. He had the mask off when he was saying he that. Ma- he had the mask off when he was, uh... Thank you. Yeah, he was, he was, uh... He was, he was a little angry. I think he was pissed, dog. So anyways, Kylo yeah, that's my... Was, was pretty angry. Love it, bro. Love Kylo. Uh, so in my number one, I'm, and this is where I got to go back and all of my, all of my, my radical controversial star Wars takes all get muted. When I say that my favorite star Wars movie of all time is empire strikes back. <laughs> oh, okay. You're accepted back into the community. <laughs> right. Which is you're pretty much the general the consensus as, as one of the best ones. Um, you know, it was dope, man. And that was a good movie. It was a good movie as well as a good star Wars movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I loved Yoda. I loved to see Darth Vader. He had in sort of in his prime. It was kind of the best version of Darth Vader that, that I think we got to see. Um, the stakes were high, and the fucking good guys lost. They flat out lost, fair and square. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They held an L, and uh, you don't really see that very often. So, classic, classic film. Uh, that's my top five. How about you? Nice, man. I like it. I love it. Very good. Look, man, there's, I'll say, there's not a Star Wars movie that I hate. You know what I mean? I actually like all of them to some degree. It's Star Wars. I like it all. You know, um, I'm going to get into my mega, ultra, super, hyper, controversial top five favorite Mm. Star Wars movies. (laughs) Uh, Coming in at number five for me, man, I got Revenge of the Sith. You know what I mean, I Fire came movie. up in the came up in the prequel time, so I am I'm very partial to the to the prequels, man. That got me kind of in love with with Star Wars in general. But I mean, Revenge of the Sith, man. What can I say? It's 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 a fantastic movie. It's it's dark. You know what I mean? Got one of the greatest lightsaber fights ever in it, Obi-Wan versus Anakin. And I always talk about that scene, man. I love that scene where that door on that spaceship opens and Obi-Wan is just sitting there with his arms. Right. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. One, one of them, you know what I mean? He's just in the door. Right. Right? And, and, and Anakin is, you brought him here to kill me. And if I'm Obi Wan, I'm like, nigga, you just murdered a bunch of children, dog. Yes, I, I, I've I come am to kill you. Here to kill you, Anakin. I've come you to either understand? take you to jail. Yeah. That or... whole scene is just amazing, man. Yeah. Anakin, angry Anakin, pacing back and forth. Liar! <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, you know look! I mean? Hey, Kylo was was channeling his grandfather. <laughs> oh, he was. He sure was. <laughs> you will not take her from me. <laughs> I will do what I must. <laughs> you will try. You will try. I love that movie, man. Just the whole the whole tone of that movie, man. It just starts off, you know, on fire, and then it just gets extremely dark. Boom. But uh, Obi Wan, I love Obi Wan, man. So, Revenge of the Sith coming in number five. Also, hold on a second. There was a there was a debate earlier today on one of our many Facebook groups that we participate in, and um, it was a not not by uh, good choices on our behalf because we just get mad in these Facebook groups and we stay them for some reason. (laughs) <laughs> and so there was a question would would mace windu clear right i think round one was 100 battle droids round two was general grievous round three was who the fuck was round three was it i don't remember uh is my audio is my audio good by the way because my video is a little laggy is it's my good. audio good Okay, I'll let well. you know if, if the audio fucks up. If we forget who round three was, round four was, was, was Maul. Round five was Prime Vader. Prime Vader meaning 
right Anakin. before Anakin and his Max, right before he became mm-hmm. Darth Vader. Um, yeah. And I think that I think that, that that Mace Windu clears because Mace Windu is canonically the most powerful, the the best lightsaber duelist of all time. Canonically, um, and he's one of the strongest in the force. He he's one of the few Jedi who can channel both the light and the dark side without being corrupted by it. Um, a Sith Lord, a Sith Lord, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so that's not the debate. Like we, novelist and I, I mean, it's hard for him to pick against Maul, but even he understood. Like, yeah, he would he would probably clear that shit. Yeah, but Mace, the, is, the, Mace is the guy with saber in his hand. That's not yeah. He clears, man. He clears. Oh, Dooku. Number round three was Dooku. Dooku, Dooku would give him the most trouble, but I still think he would. Man. Dooku yeah. is. I love. I love yeah. Count Dooku, bro. He's so Dooku. calm. He is, bro. <laughs> Dooku, Dooku is like a game. He's like Tywin Lannister from fucking Game of Thrones. Just like cold, calm, collected, dangerous Dooku, as hell. Dooku is a. I'll talk about him later, but I love, I love yeah. Count Dooku, man. So Dooku but, uh, and Maul would have gave him the most trouble, no doubt. But the the frustrating part was there was a motherfucker who on here who was saying that he would lose to Grievous, and I'm like, wait a minute. Do you remember? Have you, uh, you ever seen? Do you know who Mace Windu is? This nigga. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga beat the Darth Lord of the Sith. Darth the Dark Sith. Lord of the Sith. The Dark Lord of the Sith. Nigga, Darth Sh- Sheath <laughs> Palpatine Sidious. The, the, the greatest Sith who have ever lived. He beat him fair and square in a scrap. He beat him. Sidious. He did. He beat him. Sidious beat had him. the master plan, but losing, taking an L. That was not part of it. Do, not George part. Lucas oh, himself yo, 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 said yo, yo. it. Yo, I, I have kind of a hot take for you. I don't know how the rest of the Star Wars community feels about this. This is something I thought about when I had revisited these movies to kind of revamp my top five. Because for some reason, Revenge of the Sith wasn't in my original one, and I absolutely love that movie, so I had to get it in there. But, yo, how about this? How about Dooku... Losing to Anakin on purpose because Palpatine told him not to win, but then he didn't know that Anakin was going to kill him. And him. when he when he looks at he looks at uh, Sidious right, and Sidious is kind of like, yeah, he's about to kill you. And Dooku's like, wait, what? You know what I mean? But I don't think Anakin beat him. I think Dooku let him win that fight. Yeah, that's a good. It's Dooku, a, I've heard. I think I've heard Dooku people say that. An, I think Dooku beats Anakin, bro. He's 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 second to to Mace Windu when it comes to lightsaber dueling. And if you watch him, especially in Clone Wars, Dooku is not the films. In Clone Wars, Count Dooku is incredible, bro. Yeah. Like with his lightsaber, he's he's a swordsman. He, he's he's he be out there fencing. You know what I mean? Yeah, right, right. And he, and he a, fights multiple. Dooku is somebody who you see fight multiple like lightsaber users and right. not be not be the least bit worried. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think I don't think Anakin could have beat him one on one. I really don't. I think he lost on purpose. I it's I that's I don't know, but I can see it because Anakin's so I think you're right, bro. Because Anakin has got so much piss and vinegar in his in his fighting style. Yeah, um, I think Dooku and and that's the reason why I think Mace would beat Prime Vader too, just because he would just sort of Tai Chi that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Wing Chun this sure. nigga. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> my powers have doubled since the last time. Oh, the last time I cut your arm off. All right. Yeah, also, yo. like fuck that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've been doing this shit fucking too long, nigga. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, watch out right he's, quick. He's so calm. I love Dooku, man. But yeah, we got we got super duper ultra side yeah, track. My bad. Go ahead. You're, you're top. <laughs> but uh, my number four, man. So yeah, my number five. Uh, the Sith. I love it. Coming at number four, my favorite original movie. Oh my god, it's not Empire. Everybody's gonna kill me. Um, my favorite original Star Wars movie, Return of the Jedi. Coming in number four. I'm an action junkie, man. Everybody knows that. Return of the Jedi has the most action of the original movies. I think that's probably why I like it so much. And, I mean, look, man, I do love Empire, bro. It's not, is it in my top five? No, but that doesn't mean I don't love it. You know what I mean? But I would be lying to myself if I tried to squeeze it in there just because everybody else likes it. I mean, right. my favorite original is Return of the Jedi, uh, mainly because we finally get Luke as a Jedi Master. I'm in love with the green lightsabers. First time we can see green 
same lightsaber. Um, and just you know, you already know Wedge is my guy, bro. And seeing Wedge, Wedge. get the, the big dub, seeing Wedge get the big W uh, at the end, you know what I mean? Uh, f- flying with uh, flying that mission, uh, him and uh, Lando taking down the, the the Death Star, you know what I mean? Uh, Lando in the in the in the Falcon and Wedge and in the, the X Wing. Um, I love it, man. It's, a, it's definitely my my favorite original movie. Uh, you get some Boba Fett action, even though he he uh, is useless. <laughs> <laughs> the, the action is there, um, right? Um, but uh, it's there, you know what I mean. And uh, like I said, you get Jedi Luke. Uh, you get uh, I, I love the indoor, the, the jungle planets. You know, I know a lot of people hate Ewoks, but whatever. <laughs> I didn't think about me like. That. Um. So yeah, man, I gotta go Return of the Jedi and, and the dogfight, man. That the space fight in Return of the Jedi is probably my favorite too. You know what I mean? So oh, uh, Rogue, I love Return Rogue of the Jedi. Rogue, Rogue One, one Rogue, a- Rogue One, Rogue One, uh, and uh, Force Awakens too, man. Poe is out there. Poe is out there handling the. Poe was out there handling the rock. <laughs> bro, Poe po was doing kung fu with his fucking TIE fighter, bro, with his with his uh, X Wing. Even even Last Jedi, the opening scene, Poe Poe taking on the, the dreadnought by itself, unbelievable. So um, good. So yeah, man, a lot of dope space fights. My number three, coming in number three, man, I got Rogue One. Uh like you said, not many of the Star Wars movies have a third act like that movie does man that movie just hits it just gets to a point where it's just constantly going up uh sheer them way one of my favorite star wars characters ever such a unique side story that ended up being the reason we have the other films right uh i love rogue one man it's just super super unique and, and it's a great standalone film um and also like there's said, no man, there's no question that Chirrut Mway would have been a Jedi had he been born 20 years earlier. Absolutely. Had he been born in the, the time of the Republic, Chirrut Mway would have totally been identified and been a Jedi Master. Um, and like you said, man, the greatest Darth Vader scene, in my opinion, ever at the end of Rogue One. Super dope. Uh, coming to number two. The Rise of Skywalker. I love it, man. It, it's 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 a Star Wars movie that did have a lot of fan service, in, but I was cool with it. Uh, yeah. Finally, getting to see you know Ray and and Kylo, who which I love both of those characters, getting to see them reach their final you know their final uh, phases, kind of get to their 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 top level was was really dope. Um, I loved. Um, I really loved that. Yo, my one of my favorite scenes in that movie is the the chase scene in the desert with the with the with stormtrooper with the jetpack. So so dope. Um, I really love that that scene and uh, just the that whole movie, man. Kylo starting off by itself hunting down the the most dangerous Sith Lord ever. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, and he's just hunting him by itself. Uh, I love it, man. What I've seen Probably. in Mexico, the first thing is about to become a true empire. <laughs> this nigga did a, did a flaming, a flaming cross. Uh, tiger, <laughs> lightsaber. Tiger. <laughs> tiger, tiger, lightsaber, lightsaber. That shit was sick as fuck, Doug. That was, man. I love Kylo Ren, bro. And that scene, man, and another scene I really love, obviously, the, the spaceship scene, right? Trying to pull the ship out of the sky, shoots the lightning. <laughs> Crazy. And another scene I love in that movie, man, is when Ray cuts the wing off of his ship when he chases her. Down. Yeah, and, uh, crazy man. I love I love Rise of Skywalker. I actually just watched it today. Phenomenal, phenomenal. But um, my number one man, and this is why all the Star Wars fans hate me. I gotta go. <laughs> my favorite Star Wars movie ever, still to this day. It's it's the Episode One, Phantom Menace. It is it's the movie that got me into Star Wars. It's got my favorite character, Darth Maul. It's got my favorite fight, Darth Maul versus Obi Wan and Qui Gon. It's got my favorite song, Duel of Fates. You know what I mean? It's got it's got my. Yes, sir. It's got my favorite good guy, Obi Wan. You know what I mean? It, it's got it's got the uh, the first what I like to call like a first on screen portrayal of a great Jedi. In my opinion is Qui Gon. You know what I mean? You got you got some pod racing in there. I, I loved 
Phantom Menace is always probably going to be my favorite one. You got the, the beginning stages of Palpatine's plan. Uh, my favorite Star Wars movie most likely will always be my favorite Star Wars movie. So I, just, I love that movie. So that's my top five, man. Number five, Revenge of the Sith. Four, Return of the Jedi. Three, Rogue One. Two, Rise of Skywalker. Number one, Phantom Menace, always. Let's um, go. So yeah, man, that was dope. We're going to do our favorite characters, but before we do that, I have some Star Wars questions for you. Oh. So, this, so this is how we'll do it, all right? I'm okay. going to ask you these questions. Then we're going to jump back, and we're going to do our top five favorite characters, and then you ask me the questions to end, right? All right, bet. Ooh, bet. All right, so here we go. Star Wars-related questions. May the 4th be with you. Here and also go. with you. Let's go. So here we Let's go. go. <laughs> Let's go. All right, here we go. A kiss character you hate. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna try. Not, I'm gonna try to be fair. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with, and I know you just got done bigging them up, but I'm gonna go. I, I'm sorry, I, I did not like the Ewoks. I'm gonna have to go with the Ewoks. <laughs> um, right, not gonna enough. be able to do it. Uh, a character you think is overrated? Luke Skywalker. The goddamn it. <laughs> Oh man, I don't want to hear nothing think? about Ray being a, a fucking Mary Sue. I don't want to hear anything about that. Luke trained for yo, train trained with Obi Wan for forty five minutes. Yo, what's the what's the male equivalent of a Mary Sue? Uh, fucking, a fucking a Tyler, a, <laughs> a Billy Joe, a Billy Joe, fucking a Tyler, a Tyler Durden from fucking. Um, <laughs> Fight Club. <laughs> I don't want to hear it, bro. This nigga, look, oh, listen, man. in episode four, he trained with Obi-Wan Kenobi for an hour. Uh, and he trained with with um, <laughs> with Yoda for a maximum of like 72 hours and came back and, and almost beat Darth and Vader. Fought Darth Vader one-on-one. What? And didn't die. And like and flat out got a couple of licks in. Get the fuck out of couple, here. Did a couple flips. Uh, did a couple, couple push-ups with Yoda. <laughs> yeah, ridiculous um character you love uh man there's so many um kylo ren i'm gonna have to go with that with kylo i like it oh no hold on let me let me let me be more creative character <laughs> that i love is no i'm, I'm gonna stick with kylo because there, there's gonna be plenty of creative answers coming or um a moment Star Wars moments you love. Um, the Praetorian Guard fight. Oh no! Like okay, I got one. I got a better one. That one's a good one. I got a better one. The light speed uh, battering ram through the Star Destroyer. Yo, that shit was that, fucking that incredible. Was, yo, the, the, I don't know whole, if I've ever. I don't know if I've ever been in a movie and. I don't know if there's ever been deafening silence like that in a movie. Uh, that shit was crazy. That was amazing. That's a really good. The holdo really removal. The holdo uh, <laughs> maneuver. Some, let's pull some holdo maneuvers. All right. <laughs> yeah, bro. That that part was amazing. Uh, I, a a moment you hate. <laughs> uh man, shit. Oh man, motherfucking Anakin Skywalker, um, killing Mace Windu after he had the Sidious beat. <laughs> That game is no worse moment than that. <laughs> he must stand trial. Anakin, what the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck out of the way, dog. Get out of the way. From Mace my Windu point had... of view, the Jedi are evil. Oh my god. I don't know, Anakin. A a film you can a Star Wars film that you can watch over and over again. Um, Force Awakens. That's that's a that's a really good um, a Star Wars film that made you fall in love with Star Wars. Um. Uh, well, without uh, so the obvious answer is the, the A New Hope. That's the first one that I ever saw. But the one that made me fall in love with it, like made me become a, a super fan, um, is probably even though I don't like this movie that much, it's probably, <laughs> it's probably Phantom Menace just because it was like the first wave of new star Wars stuff that we got in a long time. Right. And that, that, you know, 
I didn't realize how big a fan I was until then. Right. Okay. Um, what is your guilty pleasure Star Wars film? Phantom Menace. <laughs> <laughs> Where a character, a character you wish had their own spinoff. Okay. That's kind of a, that's a hard one, right? Cause you, cause you don't want, you, there might be somebody you like, but you've already kind of had enough content of them, right? You want somebody who hasn't had a lot. Yeah, I mean, I think that I would have loved this. I would like you, like we talked about off air. I would have loved to see some early Darth Maul. Um, we've mm-hmm. kind of the the stuff that we've gotten from Darth Maul recently has been good in in parts, but also could have been better. Um, yeah. But I would say I would love to see a Finn story where somebody where he gets trained and he becomes a force wielder. He oh, only about twenty two, twenty three. He got there's some time to train him. He'd be all right. Uh, I love that. That's a, that's a good answer. Um, uh, favorite Star Wars spinoff, and there's there's quite a few. It's, I mean, if we're talking, I mean, it's so anything animated shows. Uh, got Mando. You know what I mean? It's okay. Uh, I would have to say Rogue One. <laughs> One, yeah, that yeah. counts. That's a that's yeah. a, that's a spinoff. That's a good answer. And um, give me your favorite character not in the films. A favorite favorite Star Wars character that does not appear in the in the in the movies. Fuck, there's so many, dog. <laughs> God, because I'm a big I'm a big EU guy. Like like right. um, the now called Legends. There's so many dog ass characters that never that we'll never see. Like right. the like uh, Jaden and Gianna Solo, the twin, mm-hmm. the, the uh, sons of Ray or of uh, fucking Leia and, and Han, or the yeah. God damn it, the twin <laughs> son and daughter of Leia yeah, and Han, and, uh, yeah. um, Ben Skywalker. Yeah. Um, there's all there's like Cade Skywalker, who's like a like a great great grand uh, nephew of Luke Skywalker, who's got some sort of special connection with him. But if I have to pick one. I would say uh, Dash Rendar from fucking Shadows hey, of the Empire. From Shadows of the Empire. This no. discount Han Solo, but I'll take it. We'll allow it. Right. He's another Karelian, another Karelian man. I um, actually read somewhere. I don't know if you told me, somebody told me, maybe Edmund told me, that the reason why they created Dash Rendar, I think it was Edmund's brother, Robert, who told me this. The reason why they created Dash Rendar and the we, the reason why he's so much like Han Solo is because they created that character um, as a sort of a right before um, in like the books and the comics that he came out right before Empire Strikes Back or not sorry not Empire Strikes Back Return of the Jedi came out and okay. they weren't sure if Han they weren't sure if Harrison Ford was gonna oh was gonna yeah, come yeah. back they weren't I'm sure if he was there. gonna come back so they. Yeah. They had a they had a, a a new character waiting to like fill that role in case he didn't come back. That's um, that's really dope, man. So yeah, uh, his ship, man. What was it? The Outrider. The Outrider. That shit Outrider. was sweet as hell. Really it was like a half. Ship. It was like a yeah. half Millennium I had, I had Falcon. One, I had one when I was a kid, man. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, shout out to Dash Rendar, and that that's that's the Star Wars questions, man. So oh. now, before you ask me, let's get into our next part two of our top five for the May the 4th be with you. Let's talk about our top five Star Wars characters ever. I'll go first on this one, all right, since you just did the questions. Um, go for it. Swear, man. Started my list off at number five. You know, it's, it, took me, it took me a minute to come full circle, you know, to this guy, but on number five, I gotta go Kylo Ren. Um, hey. I love I love Kylo Ren. And he was my favorite character from the new trilogy, and, and I really enjoyed seeing him. Uh, I'm here for the I'm here for the for the broken character, man. Hell you know what yeah, I'm, saying? Dog. I'm Hell here yeah. for the I'm here for the broken down character. I'm here for the um, I'm always here for the broken character. I'm here for the emotionally kind of unstable a little bit. You know, not perfect. Guy, yeah. guy's got some of his own demons going on. Um, I was, I was super here for that, and uh, I really enjoy Kylo's arc. And you know, seeing him, seeing him be be full power and and rise of Skywalker and and make the make the the redemption. You know, the turn to to Ben Solo at the end there. 
was great. I love Kylo, man. Love his look, the helmet, the name, the ship, helmet, dog. tie silencer, everything, man. Go, the, bro. <laughs> the saber, uh, everything, man. He's just a super cool character, man. I remember um, when Force Awakens was coming out and they started dropping some of the merch, I was just like super into his look, man, and just thought he was he was a uh, really dope looking character. So, that's Kylo Ren. Coming in at number four, man. Uh, I talked about him a little earlier. Still, he's still in my top five. Sheared M. Way from Rogue One. Donnie, played by the great Donnie Yen. Um, Donnie Yen. I love I love Sheared M. Way, man. He he's. I wish we could get more. I read the, I read his book, uh, Guardians of the Wills, uh, about him and his and his uh, partner, who the guys that guard the, the Kyber Temple in Jeddah. Uh, just a super dope character, man. Obviously, an amazing fighter. You know what I mean? One of the one of the best fight scenes ever, really, in Star Wars. Bro, come on, bro. One of the best fight scenes ever in Star Wars when he fights those stormtroopers. Um, and, uh, yo, how about the callback in Clone Wars when Ahsoka, uh, when she's... Uh, helping remove the chip from Rex's head and she mm-hmm. says uh the Sheridan in white chain right I am I am with the force the force mm-hmm. is with me you mm-hmm. know what I mean I thought that was amazing so shout out to Sheridan in white love them Rogue One's fantastic movie um coming in at number three for me this is this is where things get a little difficult because I made a little switcheroo here. Okay. Coming, in at, coming in at number three for me, I'm going Master Yoda. I'm always here for the for the old Master character. You know what I mean? And we mm-hmm. talked about before how seeing Yoda finally fight right in Attack of the Clones, amazing. I can you know what I'm saying? Buzz saw seeing him fight in Attack of the Clones. But if you watch Clone Wars, man, and not necessarily the CGI one, but the the Jindy Tartakovsky Clone Wars, Yoda is amazing in that show. And I just love seeing him on the battlefield, getting, you know, getting some action in him and Kai Buck, his little weird camel thing that he was riding. (laughs) You know what I mean? And I just, I just love seeing Yoda as as a, as a fighter. Super, 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 super good, man. Um, Coming at number two, man. I'm going with my guy. I'm going with Tim Duncan, man, the champion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with my man, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan. He's, he's a champ. Look, man, I, I love Obi-Wan so much, man. He, he's, he's my favorite Jedi. He is, he's like you said, he's got the track record, always has the, the best fights. Um, man. I go Obi Wan got one of the cleanest the, records of all yeah, time, bro. One of the best, one of the best records ever. I mean, and then you want to talk about the guy who beat Darth Maul, the guy who beat General Grievous. You know, he's a he's a general in the army. He was out there. He was beat, out there. Beat Vader. Scrapping, beat Vader. You know what I mean? Beat Prime Vader at yeah. that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, so. I, I just even even like and you know Obi Wan is the sole reason why I can stand Attack of the Clones, man, because I just yo man, the scene where he fights Jango Fett and on uh Camino in the rain, I love it, man. That that's one of my favorite you know, if I had to pick a fight that wasn't like a, a lightsaber on lightsaber fight in Star mm-hmm. Wars, that's definitely it. Like he was, mm-hmm. Obi Wan was out there doing some martial arts. Yeah, <laughs> you know he, he had he was out there, he was scrapping. I love that yeah. scene, and um, and and just Obi Wan and Attack of the Clones is really dope because that's kind of like covert op Obi Wan. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Uh-huh. And he's out, he's doing some 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 secret missions. You know what I mean? And, and obviously the light. Saber prowess. I love his little. Man, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I love Obi Wan, man. He's also the, the troll master. He's always yeah. trolling people, man, especially in Clone Wars. Um, but yeah, bro, Obi Wan, the king, the the god. It's my favorite Jedi. Um, and coming at number one, I mean, it's obvious. It's never going to change. Darth <laughs> Maul, uh, of course, my favorite Star Wars character ever. I, probably talk about him on episodes when we're not even talking about Star Wars. What can I say? You know what I mean? Ray Park did an unbelievable job. And Darth Maul, he's the guy that, that got me into Star Wars, man, as a kid. Changed my life. Shout out to you, Lord Maul. Favorite Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> favorite, favorite Star Wars character ever, man. Let's go. So that's, that's my top five favorite Star Wars characters, man. Number five, Kylo 
four, Sheridan Mway, three, Master Yoda, two, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and number one, Darth Maul, my favorite Star Wars character ever, man. Boom. Hey, man, you kind of sold me on Dar- on uh, Obi Wan a little bit. I don't I don't know why he's not in my top five. I'm gonna I'm gonna instantly put him up into a, a into a. Um, you gonna put him in there? I know you haven't done yours yet, so don't. So no, don't, no, uh, I haven't. I don't haven't. Spoil it. <laughs> We're, okay. I haven't. Um, but I do think that he is going to be a honorable mention. Obi-Wan is this. He's uh, he's awesome. Like, right. And and we had talked before how I, I, I like Darth Maul so much because he is one of the few uh, Star Wars characters who clearly exhibits like martial arts influence in his fighting style. Remember I showed you those panels where he's like doing wushu stuff. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, yeah. Where he's like clearly doing wushu and obviously Ray Park is a wushu master. So he, that's where they got that from. So I, mm-hmm. I love that. And, and Obi-Wan is another one of those characters who clearly exhibits martial arts in their fighting style. And mm-hmm. I, that's what I, I really like that about Obi-Wan too, man. Absolutely. Um, and like I said, Attack of the Clones, long hair Obi-Wan with the beard. <laughs> Yeah. That's my that's my favorite that's my favorite Obi Wan man. Give, I need like, long hair beard Obi Wan. That's my favorite Obi Wan of all time man. Um, he was he right. was a dog in the Clone Wars. So do you want me to ask those questions or do you want me to give my top five and then ask you let's, those questions? Let's do, let's do your top five first. Let's okay. do those top five Star Wars characters, man. All right, so I'll run through the top five here real quick. Um, when it comes to characters, like I said, I'm going to have to do a o- honorable mention for Obi-Wan. Um, I don't know. Uh, he is like you like you can't really. De- he's undeniable. Like that he's, is. He's super, bro, he's like he's Tim Duncan, bro. We talked. We already yeah. discussed this. He, <laughs> I mean, he's just, you know what I mean? He, he's just he's, the most he's, solid, he's steady winner. ass, winning <laughs> champion ass fucking Jedi ever. <laughs> I mean, even Master Yoda oh, probably doesn't have a resume as pristine. No, and I mean, let's, as his. Let's let's talk about this, man. Let's talk about let's talk about Obi Wan and Master Yoda departing to go on the most important missions in the history of the Jedi. Right? Mm-hmm. One of them. One of them is is the, is probably the greatest Jedi ever in Master Yoda, and one mm-hmm. of them is. This guy who has just been there and has just been He's solid, done all. solid yeah. has done it all, and right. then you and then you meet back up after going on on the two most important missions in Star Wars history, and Obi Wan's the one that got the W. You know what I'm so saying? So you know you know who he is. This is this is who Obi Wan is. You got Anakin who will go out and like get you 47 one game and then right. like <laughs> and then the next game he'll f- turn the ball over and ha- and go one for fucking 15 and right. y'all end up getting popped hey, yeah obi-wan uh, obi-wan just dropping 28 every so, game so hold on, hold on. <laughs> then, then you got then you got mace windu who's gonna come down and get you 35 and 15 rebounds and a triple double <laughs> But you can't rely on him because he's gonna get hurt for half the season, right? Anytime he's out there, anytime he's out there, he's golden. But he can't. And then you got Yoda. You got Yoda, who's who's basically Kobe Bryant, who's like you know Kobe Bryant at the end of his career, who Mm -hmm. is gonna you know you you got him on fucking reserve minutes. You're not you're not really putting him in very often, but when he when he's in. Low, Low management. management, right? Exactly. <laughs> and then you, yeah. then you got Obi Wan. It's just gonna get you twenty four points, a quiet ass twenty four points, twenty two to twenty four points a game, seven rebounds and five assists, and don't you don't even know what's gonna happening. Have, gonna have a crazy plus minus, right? He, gonna have, he got he not gonna turn the ball over. Player efficiency, Ever. player efficiency rating gonna be through the roof. And here's the thing: <laughs> all of his points is gonna come either at the free throw line or like. Niggas shooting fucking wide open three pointers or layups, yeah. and then you look at the scoreboard yeah. like, damn, that nigga Obi Wan got went, forty. That nigga got forty went, points. When the fuck that crazy. happened? <laughs> that nigga just, you know what I'm saying? All right, all right, yeah. Anakin, <laughs> square up. <laughs> Let's go. You know what I'm saying? That nigga's steady man. as fuck, solid I as hell. Love, man, I love Obi Wan. All right. All right, man. Let's so get run through the top five here real quick. So my number five, I'm going to go with Ray. Um, the, yeah, Mary, the Mary Sue herself. Y'all niggas talked a lot of shit. Ray came and, and <laughs> Jedi, Jedi mind tricked y'all to death and fucking uh, destroyed Emperor Palpatine with his own, with his own juice. Nigga fucking electric, 
Right. <laughs> With his own juice. With his own swag. <laughs> <laughs> fucking electrocuted that thing to death. Um, then we're gonna go with. I have died before. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Dark side. Right. Uh, is an actual path, is a pathway to many abilities we <laughs> consider to be unnatural. Natural. His voice was so deep and loud. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the girl. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite, just to show you how much of an audio a audio fall I am. My favorite part of that whole movie was when this nigga did the, the lightning, bro, and that shit was that just bass, all bass. Like, bass time. <laughs> <laughs> like God damn, somebody turned the eight oh eight all the fucking way up, bro. That was straight up bass. They hit the soap when first saw him. I was like, oh shit. I can turn it up. Anyways, all right. <laughs> Number four, we're gonna go with uh, with Darth Maul, uh, who has the most martial art, the most martial of arts of any uh, fighter in the Star Wars universe. This motherfucker yes, is the truth. Uh, number three, uh, gotta go with Han Solo, man. I'm a fan of I'm a fan of the Nerf Herder. That nigga just be talking. This nigga has got his his <laughs> like become a, a galactic hero just by talking shit. Literally. Like that's that's his quite, superpower, quite literally. And and I mean, look, man, S- Solo is so underrated of a movie. And Kessel Run, uh, bro. Kessel Run. Scene. That shit was f- amazing. Amazing. I, I didn't. I didn't love uh, Solo necessarily. I thought that some of it. I mean, I, don't, I didn't need a Solo movie. It was it was fine. But yeah. if you're gonna give it to me. They did that Kessel run, and that shit was fucking dope. That shit was, they lived up to the expectations for sure. All right, real um, quick, right now, not thinking about it. Off the top of your head, who shot first? Go, hurry up. Han, who shot no first? question. Han, no question about it. Han is busting at these niggas off top, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? They, same, same, same answer I have. All no, right. no question. Um, and number two, ooh, we talked about him earlier today. We got to go with Mace Windu. Let's go. Uh, Ma- I mean, Master Windu. Right. A uh, Sith another, Lord. A Sith Lord. Another, <laughs> yo, another dope scene is in Attack of the Clones. Is Attack of the End of Attack of the Clones is good. It's, it was, it's it was the good. rest of the movie. Mace right. coming to, to, when he just ignites the lightsaber in front of a man's throat. All right. <laughs> And then, and then Django tries to shoot him, and he jumps down and takes the jacket off and shoots the bullets while he's jumping down. So fucking cold. Come he, on, man. Have you ever seen fire. somebody decapitate anybody with with that much swag ever? Never. That nigga just said, "Wow." And I said this. I said this before, and I want you to go put watch this movie so you can tell me: Is that Django Fett's head popping out of his helmet when the helmet <laughs> hits the <laughs> When the helmet hits the ground, I promise you, his head <laughs> flies out of the actual helmet. It's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> but, yeah, man, love, love, love uh, Mace Windu as uh, or That's Samuel Jackson as Mace, Mace Windu. Mace Windu would be uh, number six on my list. Like he, he would, Fire. and he was in my my list until I I, I, I became super uh, partial to Kylo. So Mace, yeah. Mace is right there. Also, so, fun fact, man, Tupac Shakur was was yeah, one screen test that. away from playing Mace Windu. That would have been incredible. That would have been, been amazing. Hell, I would have totally been here for it too because Tupac had the the, the acting good, chops to pull that actor. off no doubt good, about it he was Pac was a, was a good actor he was, absolutely he was a, a good actor um and then number one man recency bias say what you want to say I gotta go with Kylo Ren dog I, I fuck with I just fuck with Kylo so much man that's your guy man I fuck with Kylo dog <laughs> I love the story I love the, the angsty upside you know what I'm saying yeah, man. That, Kylo's uh, a really dope character man Man, shout out. We've talked about him so much. I don't need to go into any more detail. <laughs> right. Kylo, I'm here for it. All right. That's my number. That's my top five. We had uh, number five was Ray. Number four, Maul. Number three, Han Solo. Number two, Mace Windu. Number one, Kylo Ren, Ben Solo. I like it, man. Oh. Kill the girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, let's get these. Let's get these questions. Let's ah, knock these questions out, man. Boom. 
All right, so here we go. Off top, character you hate. Oh, uh, Anakin, man. <laughs> <laughs> actually, no. Actually, no. Jar Jar Binks. Okay, that's obviously we Jar Jar we Binks. will accept that. Jar character Jar that you think is overrated. Luke Skywalker, and there's no other answer. I mean, <laughs> Um, character that you think is underrated? Oh, uh, Count Dooku. I'm going Count Dooku, man. My phone just died. That's <laughs> that's not good. Yo, Count I Dooku get, underrated. Um, Count Dooku underrated. I'll start. I'll talk about Count Dooku a little bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, talk about it. <laughs> uh, like I said, bro, there's this episode of Clone Wars. Where Count Dooku is sleeping at the crib, and yeah. Asaz Adventurous and the Night Sisters, they come in there with lightsabers, and they they do this dope thing where they like invisibility cloak their bodies. You know what I mean? And they can't, you can't see them. You can only see like their vibrations or whatever. And they attack Count Dooku while he's asleep. My man wakes up in his pajamas. <laughs> And his PJs and his pajamas are <laughs> and fired. His, and his jammies. And his jammies. He's, 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 he's got like. <laughs> he just, my, no, I'm telling you, bro, my man just reminds me of an old samurai, bro. He does. Yeah, so, and he just and he just wakes up in his samurai pajamas. This is like Samurai. Dude fights like three or four at Night Sisters that you can't even see. And he beats them. <laughs> and he's like, and he thinks they're Jedi because they have green lightsabers. And he, and he says, he wakes up and he says, I don't need to see you, Jedi. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's so dope, bro. And he, That's fine. Luke's, Luke's a, a really good character to me. I like him a lot. All right, I'm back up at, on deck. So um, the next one we have is character that you love. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, come on, man. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. All right. <laughs> moment that you love. Oh, moment that I love. Uh, let's go with... I gotta go. Okay, moment I love. I'm gonna go with Sheard M-Way fighting uh, oh, yeah. those, the Stormtroopers from Rogue One. Okay. Means, moment that you hate. Bruh, I really wanted to have a different answer than you, but I, I don't think I hate another moment more than Anakin slicing off Mace Windu's hand. Uh, I mean, that, that, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? That, that's <laughs> just, I hate it. That, that's my hate. That's my hate moment right there. All right. Film that you can watch over and over again. Uh, Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. How about a film that made you fall in love with Star Wars? Man of Minutes, episode one. Pretty straightforward. Guilty yeah. pleasure. Attack of the Clones, man. Uh, like I said, it's, it's not it's not my favorite movie, but just Obi Wan uh-huh. is so dope in that movie that I, I like to I like to watch it. <laughs> so, character that you wish had a spinoff. Um, that's that's a good one. Um, a character I wish had a spin. Like you said before, I, I've I. I would love to see a, something Darth Maul, but that's that's the easy answer. So I am gonna actually go with. Let's go with. Um, uh, you know what? Okay, let's go with Sheard Emway. I would love yeah. to see. I would love to see a story about him growing up without the Republic around and, and kind of being this really amazing fighter, but knowing that he can never be a Jedi. Yeah, man, that would suck, but also be an incredible thing. It would thing be watch. heartbreaking. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and then last one, your favorite Star Wars spinoff. Uh, I'm going to go Clone Wars, but the Jindy Tartakovsky one. Hey, yeah, that, uh, one, was, that one was fire. I'm going to go that with that one right there. Bro. in so cleanly with, uh, with episode, episode three, three, man. Amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, shot also, man. Um, and you know, I, I really another scene that I hate is when Darth Sidious just kills, um, who is it? Uh, Kit Fisto, and, yes, Fisto Plo, yeah. and Plo Koon, right? Plo Koon, yeah. So just, easily, just like and, fucking. And in, the, in the Jindy show, they they build them up so high. They're both really dope in that show. Mm-hmm. No, they're and both then, fucking masters. And then 
city used to kill themselves. So I, I hated that scene too, by the way. Yeah. But, <laughs> but that said, um, but that said, man, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's it, man. I have one more question for you. Okay. Right now, real quick, off the top of your head, who's your favorite non force user in Star Wars? Oh. It's a great question. So I'm tempted to say Finn, but that nigga Finn got the force. I don't care what nobody says. How do you know? I, I mean, it. it's, a, it's a feeling. <laughs> right, it's a feeling. <laughs> um, so aside from him, and all, same with Shiro and Imwe, those, are, those guys both are force users, even though they don't have training. Um, Lando. I'm going to go with Lando. I love you, man. That's a good answer. Mine, yeah. I think. Uh, that's a hard. My, I'd have to go. Oh, hold on, hold on a second. Okay, so wait. I'm gonna. The reason why I didn't say solo is because I subscribe to the Obi Wan Kenobi theory Word. that, <laughs> that Han, Han Solo was force sensitive the whole time. I and just doesn't know it. I agree. I agree. Hundred percent. Because I'm because bro, do you remember in, in fucking a New Hope? Um, Han Solo was like, I don't believe in that mumbo jumbo. And then they cut to fucking Kenobi, and this nigga Kenobi was like, okay. Like, <laughs> it, it was very obvious that Kenobi was like, this nigga and, don't know what the fuck he's talking about. He, he doesn't like, even realize that he's force sensitive. Yeah, and let's be real. Like, some of some of the, the pilot abilities, right? I, I am a firm, yeah. belie- I'm a firm believer that you cannot... I don't think you can fly the Falcon the way without having some type of... Uh, Force reflexes, right? Yeah, that shit be is whipping that bitch. Bro, it's so big and fast. Like Shuey drives it, Shuey flies it, but he doesn't really fly it in um, like crazily. Yeah, <laughs> right. So you could almost argue that maybe even Poe possibly right has has. Yeah, that. a lot. Of, some people think yeah. that too. Yeah, yeah. So. and also the way that Han Solo just sort of like like fucking yada yada's his way into fucking shit and just be like whoops and fucking <laughs> oh, I, got a, I got a W though right. <laughs> I killed the su- supposed best bounty hunter in the, in the galaxy by accident one accident that thing is fucking Sith Lord damn it so Han Solo <laughs> hey, that's, the, that's, the, that's the name of this episode Han Solo Han Sith Lord Solo Sith Lord hey yeah man uh, my favorites Nine forces are got to be Wedge Antilles, my favorite pilot. Um, but another really dope non force character that I really like, I love Bo Katan from Clone Wars, man. Um, the Mandalorian, the Death Watch girl, I think she's a really good character, man. She gets scrapped. So shout, oh, yeah. out to shout out to Bo Katan. Um, but yeah, man, anything you want to you wanna put me on before we get out of here, man? Streets Race 4, bro. We got to get four. on it. It's just fun. Right. It's frustrating as hell, but uh, <laughs> if you if you you play Mega Man, so you already know how that shit can be. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah, Mega <laughs> Man, especially Mega Man Zero. Some of the absolute most frustrating games you will ever play in your whole entire life. Very that's frustrating. For sure. Um. So yeah, man, that's dope. We talked about uh, Cabinaria, the Iron Fortress earlier. I have another. I have anime you should check out. Um, I think it's called Hitori no Shida, something like that. It's it's another like zombie type of anime. Uh, okay. it, looks, it looks pretty good. I saw a clip of it. I haven't watched it yet, but you should check it out because since you've all already right. watched Cabinaria, the Iron Fortress. Okay, so hold on here. I got I got one more challenge for all of our fans. Word. We need to. So this nigga novelist is a fucking fiend, bro. This nigga called me one day. He texted me, was like, "Hey man, is Westworld any good? <laughs> is Westworld any good?" And I was like, "Yeah, man. You know, I, I'm a huge sweaty. I fuck with it. I think it's really dope." And then, and then I thought to myself, I was like, "Wait a minute, this nigga don't." I need to. I need to translate this into a way that that I know he's gonna understand. So I, I happened to text. I was like. But it ain't no, it ain't no real like fighting in there necessarily. And this nigga gave me the James Harden. Uh, <laughs> so, look, we gotta try to find a way to put this nigga on on something. At least one thing. We need to get him interested in one thing that doesn't have martial arts in it. Just one. We need to try it. So, so we'll, uh, I'm gonna think about it. Y'all give us some suggestions. What can we try to get him interested in? And I'm not, I'm not even gonna say that it can't have fighting in it. It can have it can have some fighting in it. That can't be like what it's necessarily about. 
<laughs> there's some stuff right. out there that I think you might like, but so we're gonna have to see. And and my and my challenge for for my fans to get hero into, we have to get hero in to like something that involves heavy magic. Ah, hey. fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Hero hates magic. All right, so I need everybody to comment. Give That's us it some, for kids, bro. I don't want to see. Look, I'm not watching black. I'm yeah. not bla- watching Black Clover. So he refuses, fuck that. He refuses to watch Black Clover or give Harry us, Potter. Give us, give us something dope that involves a lot of magic. Yo, man, follow us on Instagram, y'all at the Swordcast Pod, and if y'all are listening on spotify we have video now on youtube for these quarantine episodes we're doing while we're social distancing from each other and uh and you know thank y'all man we we did the we had did the live show on our patreon man and you guys you guys supported us we're gonna do another one coming up here pretty soon and, and yes, sir. We'll let you guys know man so thank y'all for listening we love y'all may the fourth be with you <sighs> My word is my sword, Hokage and Batosai, pulling the blades out of the forge, yo. Prior to my knowledge of the force, was sticking Jedi, but through obtaining holocrons from both sides, I'm under gray skies. Everything that glitter ain't kyber crystal, my mind will lift you. In this time, we shine together, disarm your pistol, yo. Welcome to the sword cast, sword cast. My word play, my sword play when blades clash. Welcome to the sword cast, sword cast. My word play, my sword play when blades clash. Welcome to the sword cast, sword cast. My word play, my sword play when blades clash.